Good evening, I'm Bagan, and this is Baron News Network, your 24-hour news and only information source, or else. Today, more tragedy struck as Cecil Harvey, traitor to the crown of Baron, burnt the village of Mist into the ground. Sources say there were one survivor. We are still looking for that survivor. Also, on his continuous rampage, Cecil Harvey was attempted to be apprehended, however he killed three of our officers and forced one into retirement. Also, could this former Dark Knight of the Red Wings be in a child molesting or child prostitution ring? More on this later, as our hidden cameras expose something you might want your children not to see. I am Began, and this is your 24-hour Baron News Network. Hello again, Magnet of K. In our last adventure, we got the Sage Teller to help us out. In our way to... Damsian, where we will get... The Sand Ruby. Or at least information. Anyways, we don't need the fish right now. Instead, the fish fish are gold. Or gill. Anyways. New item for Radia. A nice rod. And as you might expect, this will allow her to cast ice as an item, saving valuable magic points. And this is quite a long cavern for the second dungeon. The stronger the fight, the more gill you drop. But we can always pick up more. Fortunately, running in this game is pretty easy for the most part. You can usually do it within a few, few couple seconds. Zombies! Let's see how they like dark magic. No, dark magic isn't going to work very well. But, you can actually use cure magic as an attack. Yes. You can also use fire as a fairly effective attack as well. Burn, baby, burn. But the undead tend to do nasty things. Such as resisting Dark Knight's attacks. Anyway, where was I? Oh yes, burning zombies. For fun and profit. And... Right, we'll probably earn another level before we get to a boss here. Oh look, hidden passage! Yes, if you look hard enough, or to experiment a little bit, you can find hidden passages along the way for shortcuts and alternative routes to treasure. And let's keep exploring our little dungeon here. Mmm, jelly. Tastes like pudding. But there's a problem. Jelly are resistant to attack. So we must use the proper magic spell on them. Proper magic spell? What could it be? Could it be thunder. Could it be fire. Well, thunder didn't seem to do too much. Let's try thunder. Fire. Very effective. Very effective. Or easy experience. Don't worry, we won't be fighting too much along the way. Just enough to give you the general I idea of dungeons. A uh, notches. What's a notches? It is a, a special item. Anyway, let's move on. Zombies. Run from the zombies. This is not Left 4 Dead. This is Final Fantasy. The fourth in the series. None which are sequels. Unless they say two at the end. And I hate gators. Gators tend to hit pretty hard. And there's another hourglass. I know what time it is. And there we go, finally. A uh, dark. A dark what? A dark sword. That means Cecil can equip it. 
and gain a little bit of attack. Quite a bit of attack. Very useful for our upcoming fight. Zombies. Okay. That would be a wise idea. So let's go and use a tent. Restore some hit points and magic points. And while we're outside, let's go ahead and save. Because saving is important. If you don't save, then the future will be without hope. And unless you plan to marathon this game, I'd recommend saving often. This game can com be completed in 12 hours or less, but most runs will... first time runs will get you around 30 hours, second and third maybe take you around 20-25 hours. Unless you decide to play for fun, which is somewhat what I'm doing, because I am Magma WK, and we will do more another day. Magma WK, signing off, have a good night.